Welcome to the Blue Star for iPhone client. In this tutorial, we'll cover the following topics. We'll go to the App Store, download, and install the free Blue Star for iPhone client. We'll launch the app, and from the home screen, we'll set up and configure a user account and Blue Star server settings. We'll select the video quality and configure the search parameters for the LDAP directory. Then we'll add contacts and a directory entry to our favorites. We'll use the search feature to narrow and find specific people in the directory. And we'll take a quick look at the dial and history options. The Blue Star for iPhone client provides voice and video calling for the iPhone 4 and above using the device's Wi-Fi connection. The iPhone client is available as a free download from the Apple App Store. On your iPhone, touch the App Store icon. If necessary, enter your Apple ID and password. If you don't have one, you will need to create one before you can continue. I'll select Search and touch the search box in the top right corner. This will bring up the keyboard. Type Astra and press the search key. In the search results, you should see Blue Star for iPhone. Touch the word Free and then touch Install App. The app should begin loading and you'll see a progress bar. When it is finished, touch the app to launch it. There are options across the bottom of the screen. Magic Mirror, Search, Dial, History, and Home. I'll start with the home screen. The home screen has two main functions, setting up and dialing favorites, and setting up and configuring user accounts and Blue Star settings. I'll use the edit button to add and delete favorites. Once a favorite is added, it is displayed on the home screen. I'll cover this in more detail in just a minute. The other function is to configure user accounts and Blue Star settings. This is done in the Options menu. I'll press the Options button in the top right corner. The first choice under Options is Login Enabled. Make sure this option is set to On. This is how you log out if you want to turn off the app, so it must be on to be active. The next option is User Account. Here I can add, delete, or modify a user account. To add an account, touch the Add User Account bar. In the Name field, enter the Blue Star username. Press the Next key on the keyboard to advance to the next field, or you can touch the field to move to and activate it. Enter the password. This is the same username and password that is used to log in to the Blue Star 8000i terminal. On a side note, if the username is logged into the Blue Star 8000i terminal and the Blue Star for iPhone client at the same time, when that user receives a call, both devices will ring simultaneously. In fact, you can have up to five devices or clients logged in simultaneously. For the next two fields, server address and outbound proxy, the Blue Star administrator will most likely provide this information to you. These fields will accept a fully qualified domain name, a URL, or an IP address. Press the Next key to advance to the next field. When you are finished, touch the Back to User Account button to save the entry and return to the User Account screen. The application will automatically attempt to log in the user you just created. Notice the check mark to the left of the username. A check mark indicates that I have selected this account and this username will attempt to log in. To view the status, I have to return to the home screen. Touch the Back to Options button and close. If the login is successful, you will see a green check mark to the left of their name. I'll go back to the User Account screen and continue. To log off a user, touch the User Account bar and the check mark is removed from the left side of the username. If this iPhone will be used by multiple people, you can add additional accounts by repeating the Add User Account process. To log in as another user, touch that User Account bar. A check mark appears indicating that I have selected this username and that it will attempt to log in. Now return to the home screen to check the status. 
I'll press the Back to Options button and the Close button. I see a green check mark indicating a successful login. You can modify or review the user account settings by touching the right arrow in the user account bar. The arrow is small and requires a precise touch. Remember, touching anywhere on the user account bar except for the arrow is how you log the user on or off. When you're finished, touch the Back to User Account button. Now I'll demonstrate how to delete a user account. I'll delete R. Ramsey. To delete an account, the user must be logged off. Touch the Edit button. Touch the red circle to the left of the username you want to delete. Then touch the Delete button. I'll touch the Done button and I'll log M. Murphy back in. So that's User Accounts. Under Options, touch Video to select the speed and quality of the video you will use. A check mark on the right side of the bar indicates your choice. The next option is Search. This is where you will enter information that will allow you to connect and download your company's directory. Your Blue Star Administrator will most likely be the one that provides you with this information. To begin, touch the Directory Source Bar. For this tutorial, I will configure the LDAP directory. Enter the LDAP server address, username, and password. Enter the search base information. For my example, I'm entering the domain. My information is dc equals astra, comma, space, dc equals com. So I'll type dc. Now to get to the equal sign, touch the number key, and then touch the special characters key. There's the equal sign. I'll return to the letters keyboard by pressing the letters key and finish typing my information. Under LDAP type, select Active Directory and press the Cache LDAP Now bar. A message pops up telling us the caching has started and it might take some time, but you can continue to use the client. I'll touch the Back to Search button. The next field is contact source. The default is all synchronized. I'll touch the back to search button. The next field is video filter. In just a minute after the LDAP directory is cached, I will demonstrate how to search the LDAP directory. On the top of the directory window is a video camera icon, which if I select will only show entries that are video capable. For us, that means other Blue Star users. It filters the entries by looking for information in a specific field. The video filter label is where you specify the field. The default is second work. Do not change this field unless instructed by your Blue Star Administrator. I'll press the Back to Options button. The next option is Support. You can check call statistics, report an issue, or view a help screen. And the About option shows the version. When you're finished, press the Close button. So from the home screen, under Options, we can set up user accounts, log them in and out, set up the video connection quality, and set up the LDAP directory. Pressing the Edit button lets me add, delete, and set up the location of my favorites. To add a favorite, select the location where you want to place the favorite, and press the green plus sign. This will open your contacts and directory list. As I demonstrated earlier, to add a favorite from the contacts list, press contacts and touch the person's name to be added. Now I'll add a favorite from the directory. I'll do the same thing, select a location, touch the green plus sign, but this time I'll select from the directory. You can use your finger to scroll through the list until you find the person's name. If your directory is large, it may be quicker to use the search function. Touch the search window and type the name of the person you would like to add. For this example, I would like to add Jim Kessler. So I'll type Jim and press the search key. There he is. I'll touch his name and now he's added to my favorites. I can repeat the process to add additional favorites. 
To delete a favorite, touch the red circle and then press delete. When I'm finished, I'll press the done button and there are my favorites. So that's the functions of the home screen. Now let's take a look at the other options at the bottom of the screen. The magic mirror displays a full-size view of the video image that your iPad camera will be sending to others. Search helps you find someone in your contacts list or directory. This is similar to what we saw when we set up the favorites, with two big differences. First, when we use this feature, we are not storing a number to be dialed later. I am dialing that person right now. And second, the directory window has two additional features. There is a video camera icon that when I touch and activate it, will filter the directory and only show Blue Star entries. You can scroll through the list with your finger, or if you have a large directory, you can use the search box or the alphabetical search bar and scroll to the first letter of their last name. I'll look for Jim Kessler. Once I have found the person I'm looking for, I'll touch their name and then touch the entry to call them. Turn your iPhone sideways and tap on the screen. This will let you view the video in portrait mode. The next option is dial. I can enter a phone number or I can touch the bar above the dial pad and use the keyboard to enter a number or a SIP URI. Press call or done to dial the number. History shows incoming and outgoing call history. Touching the trash can icon gives you the option to clear the call history. So that completes this tutorial on the Blue Star for iPhone client.